I just got close to finishing up editing this video. My friend, after reading a lot of the comments, it dawned on him that uh, the people coming from his channel to mine that are more than likely going to see this, they don't know like what's going on. So just a quick little catch up. About four months ago, I was uh, uh, tweeted at by a whole bunch of my people telling me that this guy Size Syndicate was blasting me on his channel. So I went over to his channel and I watched the video. Come to find out, dude was saying, you know, that I'm just the biggest douchebag on the internet. Just went in on me and then linked me in the description. So all of his fans, of course, came over, got a bunch of tweets, some death threats, all this other bullshit that happens when someone bombs your channel with their fan base by telling them that you're a horrifying, terrible person, you're a sex shit. I'm reacting to a video, just so happens that his clip comes up in the video of most awkward Twitch moments of him having 80k in his bank account or his uh, PayPal account and showing it on stream. So of course when this clip came up and it was of size syndicates, you know, as I do with my reaction videos, I talk about the things that I've experienced that relates to the clip that I'm watching. So I spilled the beans. It is BHD Army, it is your boy Blasphemous HD, and unless you've been under a rock for the last past couple of days, then you've heard about this uh, drama between me and fellow YouTuber Psy Syndicate. Well, he made a video saying that he never did anything wrong, and I just took it out of context, the stuff that he was saying, and that he wasn't actually sending hate to my channel, unsolicited by the way, because I never even knew who he was until I saw the video and received all of his fans on my channel telling me how much of a sack of arse or ass I was. So uh, I figured we'd revisit the old video. Mind you, never heard of this guy, uh, never seen a video from him before uh, I got the blowback from this video that he says, and I quote, wasn't trying to send hate. He linked me in the description so that they could find me, or in his own words, not hate on me. But he did it to, what, what was it, what was it, give me credit. Let's go ahead and get into that, guys. This is beautiful. I was actually planning on drawing on eyebrows for this one as I look like Rufus the Naked Mole Rat from Kim Possible, but unfortunately I couldn't find my Sharpie marker and I don't have any makeup on hand because I don't wear any usually. So we're going to do this completely naked, at least in the face. I, I got draws on this time. Let's do this. Hi everyone, Lucien. Today I'm going to bring you guys a one-off video and I don't care how this video goes down if you guys, I'm not making another one past this one. Um, I just thought I'd make it because I tweeted out something earlier which basically said why the fuck do people watch these videos and I still don't know why people watch these videos because I don't have the biggest Twitter audience ever. so I thought I'd bring it to you guys on YouTube and maybe we can work out why these videos have any views at all. People make a lot of money out of these. I know a bunch of YouTubers, this is one of them which you can see, um, it's his cunt cam right there. This guy's a cunt. Um, no flip. You hear that guys? No negativity. When he says cut, he's not meaning to, you know, talk shit or send hate to me. He just forgot to edit that out, guys. It was an accident. Um, but, I mean, making reaction videos is clearly just money grabbing, so, hmm. Either way, today I'm bringing you guys the top five biggest YouTubers that lost their fame. Reaction, reaction. I'm going to be reacting to a man reacting to watching a video. Oh my god, I'm so excited. What it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD, and uh -huh. today What's up, dude? we're here to watch a video called... Wow. Five YouTubers that lost their that's, fame. That's like me. This should be good because as you already know, if you've watched a lot of YouTubers, man, it, it, it's very possible to have 5 million subscribers yeah. but only get like 20k views a video. If you I'm going to do what this guy's doing as well. He pauses the video throughout the video. Just so you know, this video has 40,000 views. And this channel, I don't, I don't actually know what it gets on social play, but I think about 200,000 views a day-ish, which is probably like... It's a lot of fucking money. It's over ten thousand dollars a month from looking at YouTube videos and uploading them to YouTube. Let's continue. <laughs> you hear that, guys? Hmm? I'm rolling in it now that we've ascertained that I'm rich. No more eyebrow jokes because I'm too ballinous for that shit now. Now, number one, I'm gonna have to cut this video down because I'm gonna explain to you guys a couple of things so you guys can't see the whole video. Unfortunately, because you know, otherwise I won't have enough time to talk. Two, I'm gonna let you guys know the amount of money that he says that I made. It's beautiful. It's it's beautiful. <laughs> 
your stuff slip. With that being said, if you guys want to watch the original video, the link is in the description down below. And that also leads to the original poster of this video. His name is The Gamer From Mars. I've been watching a lot of his stuff lately. Yeah, this guy's uh, username is Cunt, and also... Just so you know, I'm not gonna link this video in the description below. Spread around like wildfire. I'm not gonna lie, this is I'm struggling with this one, guys. This is the worst idea ever. Also, I forgot to mention. Shout out to Buys for the recommendation of making this video, but I don't know. I don't think I can do this. It's, how does this guy even fucking do this with a straight face and be like, "Oh yeah, I'm watching a video and people are gonna watch me watch this video"? How does it have 40,000 views and it's gonna get? I don't know. Whatever. I'm angry. Since everyone has. I'm just to jealous. Them, just jealous. And a man by the name of Ray William Johnson figured out a way to make a show around these videos. Into See, a lot of you guys already know at this point I would probably stop the video and start talking about the situation, but I'm going to let you guys see the whole video first and then just give it all in one fell swoop. In 2009, he started Equals 3, where in each video he would showcase viral videos from around the web and give commentary along with jokes about them. Okay, so um, one pro tip for this uh, guy, which we're going to call Cunt still, um, if you're going to record a video, there's... I just want to see how many times this guy slanders me so that people can find it that much more ironic. The guy makes a video talking about, I don't know what he's talking about, man. I didn't send hate to him. I wasn't mean or, or nothing. I don't know how he would get that from the video. He took that out of context. Huh? Um, it's his cunt cam right there. This guy's a cunt. This guy's uh, username is cunt. Just so you know, I'm not going to link his video in the description below. I'm fucking showing sure you right now. I'm not going to lie. This is, I'm struggling with this one, guys. This is the worst idea ever. Oh, this guy's a cunt. So, um, one pro tip for this, uh, guy, which we're gonna call cunt still. Cunt. Oh yeah, my phone isn't on fucking silent because I'm a mongo bongo, mate. I don't understand. Like, this is a fucking surprise to this guy. This guy's, uh, username is cunt. Wait, how the fuck is he, like, sucking the cock and uh, it was really good. And fucking look like he's about to take a massive shit in the toilet, but it clearly is in his bathroom, so... Uh, it was really good. This guy's a cunt. Shitty pixelated webcam. Well, you can't really see it too well, but trust me, it looks like ass. I, I mean, it's no point of watching this. It's just him talking about a bunch of bullshit. Uh, it was really good. This guy's uh, username is cunt. Just some fucking grown man making retardedly over-exaggerated. Maybe just reactive videos and like suck dick. Uh, it was really good. I think I watched a bit of it, but I didn't watch the full thing. But you make like six videos a day on you watching YouTube videos. I just don't know how you can take that seriously and fucking do this whole... I'm gonna do take a shit look like I don't I can't dig it I really can't dig it and I hope you guys can enlighten me in the comment section below as to why people watch this maybe this is maybe this is for a certain audience maybe maybe you guys like it personally I just don't see it I can completely understand watching someone play video game I'm pretty sure he does make a, an obscene amount of money on YouTube but obviously this uh this setup reflects that with the fucking shitty pixelated webcam well you can't really see it too well but trust me it looks like ass I will actually link to this video in the description by the way um, and the high quality audio. I don't know. I, I, I mean, it's no point of watching this. It's just him talking about a bunch of bullshit. I don't know, man. Maybe I shouldn't shit on all the YouTubers, but I'm sure no one can disagree that this is just fucking retarded. A retarded way of making a lot of money. I've seen a few YouTubers doing this, where they just react to videos and, like, suck dick and fucking make money from it. Like, you guys don't obviously know how much money each videos will make, but if you make these en masse, um... You know, obviously they, they take the title and put reaction at the end. So then people... Uh, uh, let's do it, baby! The funniest part was, he's like, Yo, man, I only put his link in the description to give him credit. I didn't want anybody to go to his channel and hate on him. But if you notice, my face is on there. People know it's me. The only reason one would need to put the link down there is for people to find my channel to make with the hate. And this guy is like, what? No, wait, I didn't mean it in a negative way at all. You know, I only did it to be nice. Um, it's his cunt cam right there. This guy's a cunt. This guy's uh, username is cunt. With that being said, let's let's take a shot in the dark, right? And this is actually probably really true. The viewers on his channel more than likely probably don't know me. Never ran into me. They're really loyal people. They've been on his channel for years and years and years. That being the case, it's probably the first time any of those people have ever come across me is from his video. Now, can we all agree that if the first time you come across somebody is on your favorite content creator's channel and he's telling you that this guy is a cunt, this guy is a sack of shit, this guy sucks dick in his video. I've poked out the wrong way, I think. I was not, I'm not good at sucking dicks. And then you put the link in the description and it's not telling you to go hate. There's this language that a lot of big YouTubers tend to use. Basically, anyone in the public eye tends to use in order to not get blowback from when they do purposeful fuck shit. It's called 
passive aggressive. And that's exactly what this is. This guy acts like he's completely innocent and he's unknowing. Oh man, I didn't know by putting your link in the description of a video where I called you a cunt, a money grabber, told people you suck dick. I didn't know that that would send you hate. <gasps> what? I had no idea. Now let's talk about this side syndicate because I'm pretty sure you're watching this video right now. You say I'm stealing videos. Actually, doing a reaction video in the right format is not indeed stealing videos. Even in the front of this video, I shout all of the people that I react to their videos out very heavily in the front so people don't think that it's my content at all. I always say in the beginning of the video, if you guys want to watch this original video in its entirety as we tend to chop parts out, the link is in the description down below. So if you want to see the whole video, you have to go to the original posters channel via the link in the description and watch the video on their channel. So if you guys want to watch the original video because we chopped this shit up, you already know what it is. Uh, the link for them shits will be in the description down below. If you guys want to watch the original video, it is of course by Pymations, one of my favorite animators on YouTube. Click the link in the description down below. It leads to this video on his channel. As you guys already know, we chop parts out. Make sure to click the link in the description down below. It leads to the original video, you know, because we chop out parts and whatnot. That way, if you want to see the whole thing, you make sure to go check out the original video. This is for you guys, right? My, my viewers, the BHD Army. You guys tell me all the time, BHD, shut the hell up. You guys ever seen it when I take like a minute and a half video and turn it into 15 minutes? I do that regularly and people see it. People are not only coming for the video, but a lot of it is for my commentary. Hmm. Now, one thing I would also like to address is that this guy says that my videos are lazy. Sacks of shit, and that there's not enough work put in the video, and that's why it's not okay. Well, since that's his main argument, then his videos have to be some of the best and most well-made and more than likely most entertaining videos on all of the interwebs. Um, but yeah, what we're going to be doing today is another CSGO unboxing video. I literally can't even see out this thing. Uh, well, it's a bit better. It's like literally the shit is fucking Santa thing ever. But you know, thought I'd wear it because it is one day before Christmas. Oh shit, enemy spotted boys. Is he dead? No, he's not. Was he dead? No, he's not. I'm fucking blind. I thought he was dead. I know he's just looting a body. Alright, I gotta kill boys. Look at me go. The boxes as a whole do seem to be a lot nicer than the ones from, again, the German company. Um, I'm not sure what we be opening in what order. This one has Karambit on the box. So, so that one's obviously Karambit and we've got this one here. But we'll just start out opening up one of these. I think, I mean, it's, I mean, it's got to be a Karambit, right? I, mean, it's, I don't know, we'll just leave it down here. We'll go ahead and unbox it and see what the fuck it is. Oh, it's a Karambit, okay. The Huntsmans on the right are about uh, $70, I think, or so as well. So let's go ahead and zoom in quickly and show you guys what we're going to be unboxing today. I mean, you would have seen all of them already, but we've got a Crimson. These are all Crambits right here. Crimson Crambit, Doppler Crambit, Slaughter. Um, that is, I can't read it because it's upside down. Marble Fade, Tiger, Tooth, uh, Normal Fade, and finally, we have got ourselves a Doppler Ruby. And then on the side of Huntsmans. It's called Supply and Demand. Size Syndicate. Some of my viewers know me from my gaming channel. About 900, 850 to 900 videos over there. Let's plays, voiceover dubs, music parodies. Your rapper name could be Big Daddy Khan. Or hell, Lil Khan if you wanted to. You ever had your ass eaten by a crazy groupie bitch? See, I can do that. Then poof, spinning rims, police brutality everywhere. Then guess what, nigga? Your very own personal shoe deal. <laughs> Will there be liquids for me to drink? Mountain Dew, baby. Unless you want to drink something like mm, lemonade. Hey, hold up! She got my money in the coat. Hey! Uh, what the fuck, bitch? I 
want my money. Bitch, I'm gonna fuck you up. Johnny, bitch. Johnny, bitch. Oh, you don't know. Johnny, bitch. Johnny, bitch. And I'm down to catch your body, bitch. My punches make you stiff. And I bet you want my roundhouse kick, so make your body twitch. All of that high quality original content that you're mad at me for not supposedly making even though I still make that till this day I've got three voiceover dubs in the works and another story time in the works and all of these things take a lot of time for me to make but I make them because this is what my fans want from me I didn't do this because I thought it was gonna be the next big thing you know how surprised I was when this passed my main gaming channel I was like what the hell what my fans want me to do I do. If they ask me to do a voiceover dub of a certain game, I do it. If they ask me to do pranks, I do it. Supply and demand. My fans have been begging me to react to stuff for like eight months before I started the channel. Never expected it to go well, never expected it to do a whole bunch of stuff, but it has. It is supply and demand. You're literally making hate videos about me because I do the content that my viewers want me to do. Really wish I would have drew on some eyebrows for this video. Side Syndicate, I would like to talk to you directly once again because I know you're watching this video. The only reason why all of this was a problem and it came up in general is because you did not obey the cardinal rule. The cardinal rule being to shut the fuck up. I don't have any crayons because you look like the type of person that would it would hit home if it were in color for you. So hold on. I'm put a smiley face. You seem like the type of person that you'd understand better if it was visual. There we go. Put a nose on there and everything. Hold on. I'm not good at drawing, so you gotta excuse me. There we go. Shut the fuck up. That is the nut. That's that's what you need to do. If you just do this, then most, if not all of most, of your problems will cease to exist. Because that is the only reason this problem exists. Because you was not shutting the fuck up. See that? You feel me? And then the smiley face right there lets you know that it's a good thing when you do shut the fuck up. See that there, Sci Syndicate? This is a learning channel today. It's like reading Rainbow. But for your dumb ass, Sci Syndicate. But you won't be dumb if you would just follow the cardinal rule. You feel me? Look at that. Shh the fuck up. Shh. Now see what I mean is with you doing so much of this, you done fucked around and got yourself into a situation that is disadvantageous to yourself. Now I'm gonna link in the description down below to the latest video he did on me telling me that I'm lying about everything I'm telling you guys. I mean, you know, I made two million dollars. With that being the case, dude, I would dump my girlfriend tonight. I would be in the Caribbean by an hour from now. Slathered in naked midget bitches. I'm telling you, man, we would be on fleek. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, Side Syndicate, again, shut the fuck up. That's what we got out the way. To you, Side Syndicate, personally, since I know you're watching this video. Now, and you also need to understand that the world does not revolve around you. Just because you do not enjoy a certain type of content does not mean that that content is awful. Because guess what? Somebody likes it. If my fans did not enjoy these videos, then I would not make them. The only reason these videos are popular is because my viewers want me to do them. And they come to watch. So basically, you're not calling me a dumb, mindless cunt. For making them, you're basically calling my entire fan base stupid cunt morons. Because they're the ones who enjoy watching them. And that's just wrong. You don't call people that. Because that is not cool. I respect you making the content that you like to make. And getting yourself in a better position doing so. Hopefully making life easier for yourself financially. My whole problem with this situation and your videos sending your fan base to hate on me is that you won't afford me the same thing. I enjoy making reaction videos. I do. I enjoy giving my two cents on all the videos I enjoy watching. My fans love me for it too. It's giving me the BHD army. I love mostly every single one of them. I say mostly because there's always a dick. 
there's at least four in mine. I don't have four dicks. Just, you know what I mean. We gonna need you to fix your shit, Science Syndicate. Just fix it. Need you to go inside of your butt, okay? And take someone with you like a, like a, uh, like, like, like a mechanic. Like a mechanic. A good one. You know, with someone wearing like one of those two utility belts, like a maintenance man. Yeah, like a maintenance man. And he gonna go in there with you. And you guys gonna go searching for the shit. And when you find it, he's gonna use his tools to make it better. Just, just to fix it. Fix, fix your shit, Size Syndicate. Just fix it. Get it fixed. All your shit. You know, and maybe why you're inside of your own butt. The maintenance man that you've brought with you to fix your shit can also maybe use one of his tools to dislodge your head from up inside of your ass. Because it is all the way up there. Your head is in your ass. You need to pull that out. Pull your head out your ass and fix. Fix your shit. Fix your shit and get your head out your ass. Sire Syndicate, please. And let this be the only time we have to have this talk. Probably won't be though. But don't worry, we know you visual. You not good with words and shit, so you look. We've got our handy dandy notebook. No blues clues. We've got it yet again, see that? Fix your shit. And then I even got, I accompanied it with a drawing too, so you be really, there's the poop. That's what's in you right now, and you got the maintenance man with you to try to get that, get that going. And I've got the wrench right there. Don't, don't worry about how badly the drawing is because I'm an artist. All you need to know is that the plus sign means you need a, 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 some tools and to find your poop and to fix it. Just, just fix it. I would, I would draw you pulling your head out of your ass, but I am not a good artist. So that it wouldn't, you would not know that it was you pulling your head out of your ass. You know, I am surprised we have to have this talk right now, Side Syndicate. I saw that video four months ago when people tweeted that at me. Man, I let you have that up. When I touched on it in that video, it was a tippy touch. You know, like it was a soft landing. Like when you kiss your sister, you don't use full-on tongue. That's gross. Just, you know what I mean? You don't go all the way in there. You don't shove your face in there. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna need you to go and sit down somewhere and think about what you've done. Time out and think about how next time you think to say some fuck shit, you make the smart decision instead to shut the fuck up. You know? I'm glad we had this talk. Sorry, Syndicate. I'm glad. Snapchat me that pussy. Ooh. Snapchat me that pussy at this. Cool. Boy, my DMs popping. My DM just called a body, fuck nigga.